Hi, I'm Jim Stingle, columnist for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Uh, today I've been given an opportunity to interview Danny Gokey, the pride of Milwaukee and uh, Mount American Idol. But instead of me doing it, I'm going to uh, hand off the job to uh, two random 12-year-olds. I'm Trisha Nelson. I'm Casey Tutton. And we're heading inside the Riverside Theater to see Danny Gokey. Hi, ladies. How are you? No way, I'm sorry. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Picture? Yes. Okay, so first we want to say that Milwaukee is very proud of you and you're like the local hero. Thank you. And we have a couple of questions. Was there ever a point on American Idol that you wanted to go home? Almost every week I wanted to go home. It, it's a stressful competition and so there were times that I just wanted to, uh, I would ask myself what the heck did I get myself into? But I stayed strong and I persevered all the way until I went home. Who do you think you'll keep uh, in contact with after you're done touring? From American Idol? Yeah. Um, I think most definitely for sure is, I know it'd be Michael Sarver. I can definitely, I, I mean, I can see myself keeping in touch with all of them, but the ones I, I, I tend to hung around, hang around more or were my roommates was uh, Matt Gerard, Anoop, and uh, Michael Sarver. But I hope I keep in touch with all of them. I really want to do that. Uh, were you disappointed when you were voted off? Yes, I was very disappointed when I was voted off. But at that moment, I was okay with it, though, because I know that's just the beginning. It's not an end. You know, um, it's just a beginning, and it's launched me to my future in music. What's next in your singing career? That's a great question. Uh, what's next is I'm right now working very hard on my foundation, Sophia's Heart Foundation. And also, at the same time, you know, while I'm on tour, I'll be working on my album. So the foundation and my album, because my main goals are to mix the foundation and the music together. The music is is very powerful, and um, the music is the message, and the foundation is so to speak, the actions. Are you planning on staying in Milwaukee? I do plan on staying here, but I probably will be back and forth between Nashville, Los Angeles, and Milwaukee. I'm thinking as far as musically, and the foundation is concerned. How do you think you have changed during American Idol? I've definitely learned how to overcome some things in my own life. You know, obviously everybody knows that my wife had died just a month before I got on the show. And um, what I had to learn to do was learn to be strong when I didn't feel strong. And there was a lot of times where I, you know, felt weak. But in that moment, I had to make a choice to overcome that weakness by saying I was strong. What feedback from the judges helped you the most and what helped hurt the most? Well, I think, you know, what helped the most is when the judges would critique me and, but not only would they critique me, but they'd give me advice on how to fix it. Uh, what would hurt the most is when they would just say it was terrible. <laughs> and they'd have no advice to, to clean it back up. That was the worst part. What was your favorite part about being on American Idol, and what was your least favorite part? Um, the most favorite part on American Idol was getting the, the clothes and getting all the, the, the fun stuff, the gizmos and gadgets, so to speak. <laughs> you know, we're getting, like, cell phones and iPods and... Uh, there was a lot of stuff that we got. What was the worst part of the show? A lot of waiting around. That was the worst part of the show. We'd hurry up to get somewhere and just wait all day. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. A pleasure meeting you. You guys did that pretty good. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that was awesome. He seemed almost like nervous to be interviewed, which I thought was cool because he's some big celebrity and he still got a little bit nervous. I remember this for the rest of my life. It was, uh, it was so cool. All right, well, thanks for coming along, everybody. Wasn't it fun having uh, my friends here, uh, Trisha and Casey, helping me out? Did you like that? It was so cool. <laughs> How about you? It was really fun. And all you have to promise in return is that you have to promise to buy and read newspapers for the rest of your life. Okay. All right. It's a deal. That was so cool. He's so awesome. I know.